Welcome back to We Ride Motos. I'm Glenn. And I'm Carrie. In this episode, we are in Florence. We're going to Florence. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. we leave Voltaire, Volterra yeah. and drive up to Florence. And how long are we in Florence? Two days. Two days? Yeah. Cool. There's a voice in on calling me down the road it's where I'll always be every stop I make I make a new friend can't stay for long just turn around and I'm gone again maybe tomorrow I want to settle down until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on So when I booked Florence, I was not paying proper attention because I booked it on the first Sunday of the month, which oh, yeah. if anybody's familiar with what Free happened, Museum Day. Free Museum Day. <laughs> so And we wanted to go to museums. Yeah. I mean they have amazing museums in Florence, so we just couldn't miss them. Yeah. So there was no getting the fast pass, <laughs> the skip the line or anything. I don't remember which museum it was, but I remember we went around. And, well, this time doesn't look bad, but by the time you went down the street, down the street, <laughs> back around the other side to get to the yeah. end of the line. oh. It curled all the We thought, oh, that's not bad. It cr- actually curled all the way up. Yeah, it, was, we it went it. around three sides of the building. Yeah. So <laughs> so it was funny. So I have an interesting story. So we got this line. So I want a coffee. So I went yeah. into a coffee shop and I was happy having trouble in in Italy up to now and I would always walk in and I would say due cappuccino yeah two cappuccinos. and I would get three coffees and, and, and I'm mean, okay whatever I paid for three and walk out and finally now this this is what I was told if you go to Italy this means three this means two Something like that, yeah. And so anyway, I walked out again with three yeah. coffees and went back and met Carrie in the line. And, and just by happen chance, the couple that was in line behind us spoke English. So I, yeah. they got a free coffee and we passed the time because yeah. we were in the line for quite a while. It made the time go fast. Yeah. Somebody to chat with. Anyways. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I guess in a way we saved a few dollars, but oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, museums on free museum day, yeah. boy, it's popular. It was really busy. Yeah. After spending the morning in the Rufizi Museum, we decided on a little bit of outside time. So we decided to go to the garden Boboli, which was built in the 16th century. And uh, it was it was really quite neat. It had a lot of statues. And fountains. Even a grotto with... There's an obelisk there that's that was brought from Egypt. It spent some time in the Medici family down in Rome, and I think it was the 17th century they brought it up to this garden. After visiting the garden, we figured enough time had passed. Um, we wanted to go see David, of course, which is in Florence at the Academia Museum. We figured the lines maybe had got a little shorter by the late afternoon, so we headed off to find David. 
when you when you first enter, you view Dave, David from afar, and after passing through the gallery of the prisoners, which is filled with unfinished uh, sculptures from Michelangelo. So we saw them, and then walked up to David. He is very tall. Uh, I believe he's 14 feet, and then of course he stands on a, a pedestal. So I'll just show you some pictures of him. He's an amazing work of art. The detail was just absolutely stunning. And it was very nice to see. He was outside for much of his life. And it was only in the eight, late 1800s that they uh, brought him into the museum so that he would be protected from the weather. So there is actually a copy of him standing outside where the original was. But uh, I, I think it was being, that statue was being refurbished when we were there. With David Reed, we headed back to the streets. We passed by the amazing Duomo, which we'll be exploring tomorrow. In the morning, we climbed the bell tower, which was gave us amazing views of the um, cathedral dome. We always like to look for some at the Obscura finds. There's a there's the Atlas Obscura bronze boar snout, which is supposed to give good luck to anybody that rubs it. So we scouted him out, gave him a rub, and hope for some good luck. There's the what they call Laberta, and she's really easy to miss. But if you look really closely, you can see her head up on this bell tower wall. Apparently she's been there since the medieval time and there's stories of dark magic and curses. Apparently Michelangelo left some street art so we head out to, to find it and sure enough we uh, found a spot where Michelangelo carved this face into a wall. We went up the, the dome and we booked it so that we would have the sunset. Oh yes. Yeah, that was absolutely beautiful. We were the last, we were the last, the last people to climb, to get up there for yeah, the day. Yeah. So you go up and you're walking around the dome up there and you're like all the paintings that you see from below or that are so far away, you're right up next to them, which was beautiful. Yeah. And the whole time, I mean, you're. It's a long way up, and the yeah. whole time I'm up there, I'm like, how old is this pile of rocks <laughs> yeah. that we're all climbing up on? Yeah. Because when you go up, you go up the inside, and you're on a little narrow ledge. There's not, to, not yeah. to, You know, and it's a long way down, and then you go through the little door, and then you scurry up through the, yeah. the little passageways to get to the, the top. Yeah, you really see the inside workings of yeah. those, uh, those old cathedrals. Yeah. But yeah, up on the rooftop, wow, it was it just was, a, it was quite a amazing view. view over the city and, yeah. and as the sun went down. The poor lady that was trying to usher us down at the end of the day everybody's taking photos yeah. and trying to get the the just... last picture with nobody in it she was yeah. having a heck of a time yeah we gotta go now yeah, gotta go. Just... But, yeah but that that was that was a real neat experience yeah it's 
So after a couple of days in Florence, we were ready to be moving on. So join us in our next episode where we'll be going to Luca. And along the way, we might even stop to see a leaning tower. We'll see you then. Yeah.